What could possibly be more terrifying than the idea of a serial killer on the highway? The isolation, the vulnerability, the sense of impending doom. It's a theme that cinema has explored quite extensively. Our first pit stop on this chilling journey is with two films. The first is Freeway, featuring the talented Kiefer Sutherland, and the second, The Hitcher, with the late and great Rutger Hauer. These films delve into the bone-chilling world of highway killers. In The Hitcher, we're thrown into a relentless pursuit by a vengeful trucker, while Freeway takes us on a dark journey with a twisted serial killer. Both films offer suspense that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Next, let's shift gears to Joyride. What begins as a seemingly harmless road trip prank quickly spirals into a nightmare. Three friends find themselves pursued by a vengeful trucker hell-bent on their demise. If suspense and thrills are what you're after, this one's a must-watch. Then we have Wolf Creek, a horrifying tale of a road trip gone horribly wrong. Set in the Australian outback, three backpackers befriend a seemingly friendly local, only to discover his sadistic side. Their encounter leads to unimaginable horror and torture. This one's not for the faint-hearted. Finally, we have No One Lives, a modern twist on the highway killer narrative. A gang of ruthless criminals kidnaps a wealthy couple traveling across the country, but the tables turn when they realize one of their captives harbors a dark secret. The shocking twists and turns in this gripping tale keep you guessing till the end. The highway, a symbol of freedom and adventure, can also be a place of unthinkable terror as these films so chillingly portray. As chilling as these fictional tales are, the reality can be even more terrifying. Let's delve into some real-life cases of serial killers on the highway. Our first disturbing encounter takes us back to the 70s, to the gruesome acts of Patrick Kearney. Known ominously as the Freeway Killer, or the Trash Bag Killer, Kearney's reign of terror spanned across California. His modus operandi was as horrifying as his nicknames suggest. He would pick up hitchhikers or unsuspecting men in gay bars, and then, in a chilling turn of events, he would rape, murder and dismember them. Kearney would then dispose of the remains in trash bags, callously discarded along the highways. A true embodiment of the nightmarish predator lying in wait on the open road. Next, we travel to the late 80s and early 90s where we meet Aileen Warnos. Warnos was a notorious serial killer operating in Florida, whose story gained worldwide attention and was even portrayed in the movie, Monster. Working as a prostitute, Warnos committed the chilling murders of seven men. She claimed that these men had either raped or attempted to rape her, and she justified her actions as self-defense. But the brutality of her crimes told a different story, painting a picture of a ruthless killer who used the highways as her hunting grounds. Our final journey into real-life horror brings us to William Bonin, another individual who earned the chilling title of the Freeway Killer. Operating between 1979 and 1980 in California, Bonin, along with several accomplices, committed horrifying acts of rape, torture, and murder. His victims were at least 21 young men and boys, their lives brutally cut short in the prime of their youth. These real-life cases remind us that sometimes, truth can be stranger and far more chilling than fiction. Whether in film or reality, the concept of a serial killer on the highway is deeply unsettling. Highways, long stretches of isolated terrain, often enveloped in darkness, present a chilling backdrop for such grim narratives. The vulnerability of a lone driver or a hitchhiker, coupled with the anonymity provided by the vast expanse of the road, adds an extra layer of dread to these tales. It's this combination of isolation, vulnerability, and anonymity that makes the concept of highway killers so compelling, yet terrifying. We are simultaneously fascinated and horrified, drawn to these stories by a morbid curiosity about the darkest corners of the human psyche. Moreover, the unpredictable nature of these killers, their ability to strike anywhere along the highway, to anyone unfortunate enough to cross their path, heightens the fear factor. These stories, both real and fictional, underline the chilling reality that even the open road can be a place of fear and terror. From the silver screen to the evening news, the theme of serial killers on the highway continues to captivate and horrify us. We've journeyed through the chilling narratives of films like The Hitcher, Freeway, Joyride, Wolf Creek, and No One Lives, each offering a unique spin on the terrifying prospect of a killer hiding in plain sight on the open road. We also delved into the unsettling reality of real-life predators such as Patrick Kearney, Aileen Warnos, and William Bonin. 
Each of these individuals exploited the anonymity provided by the highway to commit heinous acts of violence, leaving a trail of tragedy in their wake. Their stories remind us that while the highway may offer the promise of freedom and adventure, it can also be a stage for darker deeds. As we journey on, let these stories serve as a chilling reminder of the darker side of the open road. Drive safe, and until next time, stay curious.